Okay, first and foremost, um, we have to address the uh, elephant in the room. Um, for anybody who didn't hear, just because I want to let everybody know um, that a uh, co couple nights ago, um, Mr. Jack passed away. A couple nights ago. Um, so, um, we... Bear, thank you so much, everybody, for your messages in Discord. Um, I posted in Discord and Twitter and, and, and everywhere. Um, and everybody's messages were super, super kind. Thank you so much to everyone. I, I couldn't believe the outpouring. Like, like I mean, because he's been, he's been a part of stream since I started streaming. We had him for 10 years. We, we, we got him in, uh, in 2014. Uh, and that's when I started streaming. So, um, I, I actually have a vlog on the YouTube channel from way back, um, of getting, like, kind of announcing, um, that we adopted Skipper and Jack, because we got them together, um, because they were originally, uh, my sister-in-law's dogs, and she passed away, uh, a decade ago, and so we adopted them. And we've had them ever since, um, and we already had Biscuit. Um, so luckily we already had all the small dog stuff that we needed, you know, to take care of a small dog, um, and some experience. So it was, um, you know, it was, uh, pretty easy to just bring them into our family. And so they, they've been here for 10 years and, um, I'm, I'm so, I'm so grateful, um, for the 10 years that we, that we got with them. Um, the past... <sighs> um, thank you all so much. Um, I'm just kind of, I, I, I've been in a daze, uh, the past couple days, obviously, since, since it happened. Um, and, um, like, yeah, I, I'm just kind of in this daze of just missing him. <laughs> um, I, I've like haven't gotten a ton done um you know i was i watched the kingdom hearts steam launch live stream yesterday and i you know i was trying to be excited for that but I've, I've just kind of been wandering around in a haze um and looking at pictures of him and having a headache for two days straight from crying <laughs> uh i had one of the i had like my um my eyes like the like i, I had like the headache behind your eyes where like your eyes hurt um for like 24 hours and then last night my head started hurting so bad just because I just like you know would go in and out of bouts of crying um and uh looking at pictures of him and videos of him and and um even going back on Mr. P's streams because he would close for years and years and years he's closed uh Mr. P's stream every single one his his cooking streams so um he um you know, we, I'm so fortunate that we have those videos of him and, um, you know, the, the, the good thing is that he lived a, a really long life and, um, let me, let me put a picture of him on the screen. Where's, where's Gummy Jack? He's a good boy. Um, you know, he, he was, he was really old and he lived a long, 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 long life. Um, and we're so fortunate to have been his forever home. Now I'm gonna start crying. Um, let me, let me find a cute picture of him. Hold on, is this gonna work? I, I still don't have all of my software installed on my new PC. Um, or my <laughs> new hard drive. Is that really gonna, why is that gonna do that? Um, why is it doing it like that? I don't know why it's doing like that. It's fine. Um, yeah. Oop. Oop. Hello. Um. Hold on. Um. Oh, Jezebel. Hi, Prezi. Hi, everybody. Yeah, no, seriously, Ren, the night it happened, um, I, 
like I thought I was gonna wake up the next morning and it would have been it was gonna be a dream. Like I literally was like, am like I had to convince myself I wasn't dreaming because it just was so. Uh, it was sudden. Um, I mean, he had been. Where is my freaking? Uh, let's see. Display capture. Display capture. Why? Where's my other? Oh, one of these. There it is. One of these. Here we go. Um, but yeah, it was just like, it was surreal. Like it happened quickly and, uh, it, it, like it's, it was hard to believe that it had actually happened. Um, he's, cause he was the best boy. I mean, I, oh, I'm so sorry, Draven. I'm so sorry. A anybody who has lost a pet, um, I actually think, now that I think about it, I think this is the first pet that I've lost, um, that was, like, ours. Like, um, like, I've met, like, all the other pets that I've lost were, like, like, my, like, when I was living with my parents, and so it was, like, their pet. And, like, our pet when we were kids, you know what I mean? Like, so it's been a long time. And then, like, Biscuit was my first pet that was, like, 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 that I got, right? Um, that wasn't, like, my parents picked it out, right? Like, a family pet. Like, this one, like, Biscuit was the first that was, like, mine. I picked them out, and it was mine and Mr. P's. And then, you know, Skipper and Jack was, was our, you know, they're, they're all, you know, and Pizak, they're all our pets. And this, so it's, like... This is, this is actually, now that I think about it, the first pet that's, like, mine. You know what I mean? Like, like that I'm, like, that me and Mr. P are, like, 100% responsible for. It's not, like, you know, my parents taking care of it as well. Something like, you know what I mean? Like, not, like, adult. I guess you could say, like, my adult pets. Um, my pets that I've had as an adult. Um, and, you know, and they're, like, my kids. So, I can't believe he's gone. I've... I, I I would be sobbing right now if I hadn't already cried all my tears. Um, <laughs> I've cried so many tears the past few days. Um, and I'm just, like, exhausted, you know? I'm like, like I said, I've just kind of been, like, in this daze of just missing him and getting sad when I feed uh, Pizak Biscuit and Skipper in the morning and not having to make a fourth bowl for him, you know, not having to chop the food up in teeny, teeny little pieces for him because he doesn't have any teeth, not having to, you know, help him eat and turn his little bowl so he can get all the food and not having to, you know, he takes longer to eat and not having to wait till he's done and all those little things, you know. All those little things that you do, especially because he was very, very old. Um, and, and like looking back on it uh, and looking back on old videos and how like spry and energetic and, and alert um, he was, I, I, I hadn't quite realized how much he had, um, how much he, he had uh, like how old he had gotten. Um, he needed help with everything. He, he, um, you know, he couldn't hold his bladder. He couldn't control his bladder. He, um, you know, like he couldn't jump up the stairs to get in the house. Like, like one by one over the past, like six months, he, um, like slowly lost all of the little things that made him Jack, you know, all of the things that made him him. His bark, he, he stopped barking like six months ago. Um, he used to make these super cute little noises. He, he used to go, Row! like this like little, this little noise. He stopped doing that. He used to do this happy little crawl across the floor thing when he was super happy. He stopped doing that. Like, I think maybe four months ago was the last time I saw him do that. So he really started going downhill fast, like the past six months, especially, um, and like, 
you just kind of keep taking care of him, right? You don't like you like you notice, you know, oh, we, you know, now he can't get through a night without peeing himself, so I'm doing, you know, I'm doing laundry every other day to wash his blankets and stuff. But you just do it, right? Like you don't like it you don't even think about it. Like you just do it. So it's like you you, you notice these things here. There's one. Oh, you know, Bubby. You know, you notice these things, but like you don't want to admit how old he's getting and when he's still he's still eating he's still drinking that was the big thing is that um it started to get very very difficult this past month for him to drink water because he doesn't have any teeth so his little side tongue here oh this is a perfect picture for that <laughs> he um doesn't have any teeth and so his side his tongue comes out the side came out the side and it just started getting like worse and worse. And he was starting to have um, extreme difficulty positioning himself correctly to drink water. Um, and so that was the hardest thing. But he was still drinking. His appetite was still like excellent. Like every time you put like there would never be a time where you put the food bowl down and he didn't like go at it like crazy. It was difficult for him to get the food, but he was very excited about the food. Um, cause like, that's one of the big tells is when they stop eating and drinking, that's it, right? They're, you know, if they're, if it's not a sickness that they are going to get over in a week or something, then that that's it, right? Once they stop eating and drinking, they're done. But he didn't, he didn't stop eating and drinking. It just became more difficult for him, but we would help him. You know, we, we would help him eat, we would help him drink and, um, but it just became harder and harder and harder for him. And, um, he just, you know, until I looked back at old videos from even like a year or two years, three years ago, um, I didn't realize how his energy had just plummeted and his everything had just plummeted and, you know, we were, uh, Mr. P and I came up with a really good analogy last night. We, um, as we were out, uh, last night, we kind of had a memorial like cookout for him. Um, cause we buried him, uh, in the, in the back and, um, um, uh, by nearby, um, the fire pit that we have out there. Um, and, um, so we had a cookout out there and, and, you know, all went out there with Skipper and Pizak and Biscuit and, and had a, like a celebratory little camp out dinner, um, next to where we buried him. And, um, Mr. P said that, you know, animals are, are different than us. Like people, they can, you know, still lead you know, they could be old and dependent on other people, but you can still lead a life. You can still be happy. You can still do things. Um, but with animals, it's like once they can't keep up with the pack anymore, they're kind of like done, you know, um, and they know it and they would rather, you know, not be a burden. And Mr. Jack, he just he got to the point where he wouldn't have been able to keep up with the pack with us unless we were helping him. And we did go away. <laughs> and so, and, and, and he couldn't even like, he couldn't, sorry, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just brain dumping right now because I need to. He couldn't even like, he was having trouble even getting comfortable, like, because he was so old, I think he had, like, arthritis and stuff, so I, he hit it very well, but I think he was just, like, in pain all the time, and he, and he did have late stage, uh, or whatever you call it, um, heart failure, and he's had that for, we actually, it was, like, a year and a half ago, he went on three medications for his heart condition, um, and you could, like, you could literally hear his heart beating. Like, if it was quiet and you put your, like, you just laid next to him, you could hear his heart beating. So his heart was working very, very, very hard, too, for him to function. 
and and so he's been on medicine for like a year and a half to help him keep going and i don't he wouldn't you know i don't think he would have had that if he if we hadn't taken him to the vet and taken care of him and stuff so like you know we gave him as much of a life as we could and i always said that i didn't want to um i just didn't want him to suffer I, I didn't want him to live forever. I didn't, like, I, I've had, uh, when he got his diagnosis, I, I had the vet ask me, like, do you want me to call, like, a cardiologist? Do you want to do surgery to, like, or I don't know what they could have done. I don't think you can really do anything against um, heart failure. But, like, I was like, I don't want big surgeries, and I don't want to put him through that. He's already old. I just want him to be comfortable with whatever time he has left. And I just kept saying that. I said, I just want him to be comfortable with whatever time he has left. And, you know, I think that's what we did. And I think that um, we gave him comfort uh, for a, a long time after that until it wasn't enough. Like medicine and, you know, stuff wasn't enough to keep him comfortable anymore. Because I think he was just in pain all the time because he, you know, walked around super slow and he would still give kisses at, you know, the end of Mr. P's streams and yum yum time. But like even, you know, when I picked him up here, like he was just kind of like uncomfortable. And I could tell that. And, you know. So I think it happened at the right time. Because I think he, you know. He doesn't have to, you know, he doesn't have to be in pain anymore. And you know, now he can just, he can just be, he doesn't have to be tied to a body that doesn't work anymore. But we miss him. We miss him a lot. And thank you all. I'm so, like, amazed that he... I saw people saying, like, you know, how many do how many puppies uh, get to say that they touched lives around the world. Because, you know, so many of you, like, really loved him. You know? And I thank you for that. And so, like, you know, he had such a good life. And he touched a lot of people, even people he never met. So, that was, he'll be remembered by even more people than just us, you know, and that's really neat. That's really neat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, you know, he was originally, um... My sister-in-law's dog, Mr. P's sister, Lori, he was originally her dog, and, and she didn't have kids either, so he was, you know, him and Skipper were, like, her kids. Um, and so now he gets to, you know, go find her. Again. Go back to his original mama. The gum gum. <laughs> Thank you all for your kindness and your messages and everything. And I really appreciate it. Mr. P really appreciates it. I shared it all with him. Uh, Prezi, can I, can I um, share what you made, Prezi? <sighs> Boy. He was, I think that this is like the perfect picture. <laughs> Prezi made something that just destroyed me in the best way possible. This is so sweet. Look at what Prezi made. Look at what Prezi made. Because we would always say, is it time? <laughs> At the end of Mr. P's streams. 
we would go, is it time? Is it time? And he would bark. Because cause they eat after we eat. So when we were done, we would say, is it time? And he would bark or make a noise. And then Mr. P would pick him up and he, Jack would end every stream <laughs> with Mr. Jack. <laughs> And so it was his time. <laughs> I went this morning and I highlighted all of Mr. P's uh, streams that were still there so that we have, um, you know, on his Twitch channel is going to be, you can go to his, uh, his VODs, his highlights, and, um, go to the very end of the stream. Mr. Jack was there at the end of every single stream, um, to, to give kisses. Oh, Prezi. Thank you so much. So many cheek kisses. I mean, people would come and say like they're looking, you know, they're they're there and looking forward to Mr. Jack's kisses. Hi, Chedu. We all want that last hug, yo. <laughs> so thank you all for loving him, you know. Like we did and making him, you know, I don't, well, we got to have new cheek kisses, <laughs> but I think, uh, the stream before yesterday, uh, well, the stream that had happened, um, I think we had, uh, uh, Skipper, Skipper did the kiss. look at that, Mr. Jack, thank you, Spark. <laughs> New cheek kisses, that's right. Because Skipper, Skipper has actually known Jack longer than any of us. Because she was his sister with their previous mom. Um, thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much. Good thing you had tissues, everybody crying now. I just, I had to, I had to. I had to show pictures of him. I had to, you know, we, we have to talk about how wonderful he was. Look at this boy. He was so a happy boy. <laughs> His little ears. Yes, please give your puppies and kitties and whatever animal you have, your animal companions, please give them extra love from us. We've been giving Pizak and Biscuit and Skipper a lot of extra love. Um... These past few days, um, they're they're okay. They're okay. Um, we uh, we made sure to to you know show them um, his body, you know, to to show them. Um, Skipper's such a spaz. I I don't know if she quite knew even what was going on. Um, Biscuit did. Biscuit came up and, you know, like, did a sniff and looked at him. And I, I think Pizak kind of did, too. Skipper, <laughs> Skipper's such a spaz. <laughs> but that night, um, when we were going to bed, uh, she did do an extra little, like, walk around the bedroom. I think I, I she might have been looking for him. And then Biscuit, oh my god, that night before, when I was getting ready for bed, um... There's a little pillow next to the bed that Jack always slept on. Um, sometimes he would sleep on the bed. Sometimes he would sleep on the pillow. It would depend because he got to the point where he couldn't jump up and down off the bed anymore. So if he got down um, or if he came back into the room and wanted to sleep, there was always a pillow on, on the on, right next to the bed that he would sleep on. Um and he sometimes Pizak will lay on it, but like Skipper and or Biscuit hardly ever, ever lay on the pillow. Um, the night after he passed, I came into the bedroom and Biscuit was laying on the pillow. Biscuit never lays on that pillow. I think he knew. I think he knew. He laid on Mr. Jack's pillow. 
Thank you, Jezebel. Or Jartrana, I'm sorry. He is Chedu. Yes, you guys have made art of him over the years. Like, he'll never be forgotten. He, he's gonna always be an emote. I should make all of the little animal heads um, little dancing emotes so they can all dance like the Pizak. <laughs> oh, Miss Michelle. Thank you. Jack on a cloudy mode. I was thinking of adding a little halo. <laughs> Where's the, uh, this is, I posted this on Twitter this morning. Here, uh, let me see if this is going to open up correctly. Mr. Jack. Here, your boy. Look at him. This is one of the cutest videos I have of him. It's a boy. It's a good boy. Let's go. There he goes. Mr. Jack is all excited this morning. Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? This was, year, this was two years ago? Goes. There he goes. It's a good boy. It's a good boy. <laughs> Look at you. Cutest boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, the zoomies. <laughs> I love that part. Look at him. Look at him get the zoomies. Oh my god. Good boy. They say Jay-Z. He did the serpentine, yes. He's trying to juke me. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It was just, uh, just the cutest. The cutest in the whole world. This was like the end of a, like, Jay, Yum Yum stream. Oh, Pick oh, up Mr. Jack. He's jumping up. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that boy. No, that's maybe not here. No, oh, look at that boy. There is one who is like literally climbing up Mr. P and kissing him. Thank you, Ara Wolf. Thank you so much. Yes, I have the Patreon. That that one was part of a Patreon video I put on Patreon once. The the one where he had the zoomies. We just we loved him so much. <laughs> and like I'm so thankful for all of the um. All of the videos, uh, you know, that we have of him on Mr. P stream and, and everything because it goes back years. And yeah, looking at those old videos, it makes me realize how um, how much he had, how old he had gotten. Because all of the, the zoomy stuff, his barks, his noises, like all of that was just like gone. He was just too tired to do it and sore and old to do it anymore. Um. And you know, all oh, here. <laughs> he was just, you know, too old to do it anymore. And uh, he was just too tired. And so now he can rest. Now he can rest and he doesn't have to be in pain anymore. He was never too old to give kisses. No, he was not. They, they got weaker, but, but he always gave kisses. <sighs> Hey, bees. Thank you so much. Thank you all. So I can't say thank you enough for loving him and for... Just everything y'all have given to all of us. So that we could take care of him. Just thank you so much. Now he has endless energy. Now he is energy. Now he is energy. I forgot to turn on, back on my cam. I'm like emoting and like can't see me. Now he literally is energy. So he can just go as fast as he wants. Hi, Quo. Thank you. It is. They. 
It's the first pet that I've lost of my adult life. Um, the first one that was, you know, like my child. Um, and we had him for 10 years. And I just, I'm going to continue to feel his loss every day when I walk around the house and, you know, he's not under my feet or uh, when I'm, you know, when I don't have to do as much laundry because he's not peeing on the blankets every night or when I, you know, don't have to chop up his food into little teeny pieces because, uh, you know, because he doesn't have any teeth and all, all things that I did every single day. And I didn't even think about it. It wasn't an inconvenience because I loved him. I would happily have him back and do every single one of those things over every single day. Yeah, exactly, Ren. Those little things that you don't realize, right? Just their presence, just their energy, you know? It's, um... You, you sometimes don't realize how impactful just their presence is until it's not there anymore. Boy. But, yeah. We'll remember them forever. <laughs> You miss the strangest stuff like the food splatters on the wall from Hungry Impatient Puppers. Exactly. Exactly. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> and yeah, the, the, I'm glad that um, Skipper and Biscuit and Pizak, they're doing okay. They're doing okay. I, I can tell that they, you know, feel... That he's not there, but they're doing okay, and we we're giving them so much love. Oh my God, we're giving we're giving them so much love. That night, Mr. P was you know super sad, and and Skipper uh, Skipper cuddled cuddled up to him when she doesn't always do in ways that she doesn't normally do. Because she knew he was sad, and, and she went to get some extra love, too, because I'm sure she was sad and missing him. I miss Scarlet rolling over, even if she thinks she might give her belly rubs and giving her kisses on her little noggin. Yes. Mr. Biz Is Mr. Biscuit still in here? Oh, no, I think he left. It's really, 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 really hot in here. Mr. B left. <laughs> They do. They know. They know when you're sad. They absolutely do. They can tell. And they can tell when, you know, just your little habits are different, you know? Because it's, it's, and it, and it makes me realize how much help Jack needed at the end. Because, like, something as simple as letting Skipper and Biscuit out to potty. Like, normally when I would let them out... I would go looking for Jack. I would see if he was up, see if he had to go outside, try and think when's the last time he went outside. I would have to help him. I would have to, you know, slowly guide him towards the door because sometimes he would get a little lost and, and he moved slow. I would have to help him down and up um, the steps, things like that, you know. And now I just open the door, let Skipper and Biscuit out. They go and then they come back in. Like there's not all of that extra stuff and that I didn't even realize I was doing, you know, because it was just, it was for him. So it wasn't, you know, it was just, you just do it. And now I don't have to do that anymore. And I, and I feel it's like, wow, this is a lot easier, but golly, if I didn't mind helping him, you know, if I didn't, you know, taking that extra time, I didn't even realize, you know. Magni was on wheels for his last year with you. Taking care of a senior pup becomes part of your team. It does. It does. Absolutely. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Taking, you have to do so, so many extra things for them. Um, but, you know, it, it comes on slowly. So you don't realize how impactful it is to your routines and to your day until it's suddenly one day not there anymore. 
It's very, man, and then every little thing, every little thing that I would normally put into a routine, the routine to take care of him that's not there anymore now makes me miss him. You know, on, only grabbing three bowls to at feeding time instead of four, um, you know, and like I said, not having to, you know, make sure that I chopped a bunch of it up into tiny little pieces for him because he doesn't have any teeth and, and you know, not having to put his medicine um, in there and making sure that I did that, you know. Like Mr. B, Biscuit would always wait when I fed them. Biscuit would always wait in the other room um, until he heard me take out Mr. Jack's pill thing with the pills because that was the last thing I did was put the pills in and then I would take the bowls over to where we feed them. And so Biscuit would always listen for the pill thing. Well, we don't have to have the, do the pill thing anymore. So it's like even Biscuit's little routine is changing because he, that, you know, the sound of that isn't there anymore. And you like you don't realize those things until they're gone, right? Give me the boy. Just those little tiny things that make you miss them. It's. Yeah, it's all the way down to the tiny little things. And you, and you know what the funny thing is? I had just that morning after their breakfast, we feed them twice a day in the morning and in the evening. And I had just that morning refilled his entire pill thing for the week. And he has three pills, so it's like a lot. And I have to chop them up into tiny little pieces and, you know eighths of pills and stuff so it's like a process to fill the pill thing for the week i had just done it that day not knowing that i wouldn't need to use any of it that it wouldn't be needed i didn't need to do that but i'm glad i did <sighs> he was a good boy he was a bad boy We'll miss him very much. We already miss him so much. <sighs> oh, Allie. So, all of my love to all of you, all of your fur babies, both the ones you have now and the ones that you... I, I've been seeing y'all mention so many, um, like, you know, pets that have passed that you've had to say goodbye to in chat and just think of them today. Think of them. Oh yeah. <laughs> there he goes. Look at that good boy. Right, bees? Because they become a part of your every single day. Every single day. So, but, but... All of these emotions are because we loved them so much, right? We wouldn't, if we didn't love them so much, we wouldn't be grieving so much. So the beautiful thing about the grief is that it comes from loving them so much. And that is beautiful. So the, the, the crying headache that I've had for two days is... <laughs> out of love. <laughs> it's out of love. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, that's even harder, Quo, when you only have one and then they pass and then... Like, yeah, at least, like, we, we have four pets and so he passed, but we still have three, so we get to put all of our love onto them, right? It's, that's... Oh, I can't imagine only having one and then just being alone. Now you have Oscar the pup. I'm going to go annoy him and cry on him. Appreciate what you have right now. But for sure, we're doing a lot of that. Appreciating Biscuit and Skipper and Jack and each other and, and, and our family. And Oh, Georgetrana. You've had Sparky for almost 15 years. Wow. Hi, Sachi. Hey, Andy. 
Yeah, Mr. Jack. Sorry you came into sadness. Uh, Mr. Jack passed away a couple nights ago. Chan Chan snuggling on you since yesterday? Oh, They're so sweet, right? They know. They know. Emerald Knight, I love little man. Yes. He was the best boy. He lived a long, long puppy life. Hi, Louis. Mm-hmm. Yep. They, they live on in our memories of them. That's for sure. All right. Let's take a break and clean up. Oh, my goodness. Um. And, um. Oh, thank you, Jezebel. <laughs> Big hugs. I love that emote so, 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 so much. Mm. Oh my gosh, Quo, isn't that funny how, like, they, they get, they become a part of our day and our habits, right? El Trio, thank you so much. Y'all are so nice. Thank you so much. I have coffee. I haven't drank any of it. Thank you, Andy. Yeah. 